So we're looking at conduction. Um, it's a quick experiment with a copper rod and I've got lots of wax dots that I've put on the rod and we're going to heat the rod uh, with this candle and we're going to see how the energy is conducted from this end to the other. So first of all if we think, so the zero points here, the distance here is two centimeters for the first dot, the second dot is 5.9, the third is 9.1, then we've got 12, 15.5, 18.4, and 24.5 are our dots. Now what I'm going to do, so obviously we've had a chance to um, to look at that and see the where the distance from. I'm going to take that away because otherwise I might melt the end of my ruler. I'm going to light my candle. So we just need a gentle heat source for this because if you use a Bunsen burner it would be too quick. And so I'm going to put my candle just underneath. I'm just going to lower it slightly so that we get proper conduction. Just move it down a touch to get it get the heat flowing in. And so the time is started now. So at 1 minute 35 Let's see how long it takes these dots to melt. Let's go a touch further down, get a bit more contact with that flame. There we go. <clears throat> so, and the first dot, that's melted. So that was 156, because it's definitely here. That's melt. The second dot starting to go. Hold on, not quite. Let's see, it's a tricky one. Yep, that's gone. That's 2 minutes 14. They've definitely melted, haven't they? So, keeping on that time. And that's the third dot at 234. Starting to go, we're looking at this one. It's starting to look a little bit wet. Oh, yeah. The heat's got to there. That's two, three minutes, oh, six. We're looking at this one now. It's starting a little bit. Let's have a look. Is it moving? Not yet. So we're, we're carrying on with time. Well, it's moving a little bit. Not quite. We're coming up to nearly the four minute mark. Well, it's definitely got moist. Oh, oh I moved it out. Let's just put it back to where we were. So that was four, four oh six, I think. Let's just give it a little feel. Yeah, we definitely got warmth there. And that's definitely getting, oh, that's hot. So it's really hot up here, and it's it's starting to warm here. But remember, we've only got a little candle at the end, so although we've got conduction, it's not the most vicious source. So one of the problems with the experiment in this way could be that although we're putting energy in here, it's actually coming out as well, and we might be starting to lose quite a lot. But by the time it gets down here, we're also allowing energy to escape into the surroundings. So looking at this, this one's starting to move. 
Not yet, that's very firm. That's five minute mark and we've not got anything. So we might be that we can't actually get this final one to melt. Got two more readings we could take, but we've got enough to plot a graph, I think. Yeah, so I think we'll stop there. So that one, that one doesn't want to go. And we've gone past five and a half, five and a half minutes. No, it's not going to go. So we'll stop there.